Yeah, we are on time. Mortimer! <laughs> We're back. We're back. That's what the girls say. We be outside. Girl, you out, you, uh, it's not me in the streets no more. It's like, oh, oh she be outside. It's the same result when you do. What is going on here? <laughs> Are you ready for last off? Like, <laughs> I had to say something. I know, but I know. But I'm like, act professional, <laughs> Jada. <laughs> well, like, I, I, I know, I know. The car is like, I thought you guys fell off. You guys are back. I know. Twinsy talk, we on talking about twinsy talk. Y'all been talking mess. Twinsy talk, we gonna tell you about everything. I I'm gonna check it out next time. And if you guys are talking mess, I'm gonna have to check you Welcome in the comment back section, to yo. Twinsy talk. Our mics aren't on. Ah. <laughs> okay, we have one mic on. Okay, I turn mine on, I think. That's is my, funny. Is mine on? I see one on. Testing, testing. You see it? That's me. Is it facing you? All right, let Te me turn mine on. You have to, like, hold it. There you go. Okay, do you see two greens? I can't see anything. And we're back. <laughs> we're back, folks. I was like, I know it was Anyways, charged. Yeah, so editing our video, I was very happy to say that um, it was very long, and I just left it and I added the Halloween and I was gonna like edit all this I'm like what am I doing just put the Halloween clips yes I, I found our Laverne Shirley it was great Rooster. I was like Shayla give it give give it to him girl I died though I was just I was watching it like I put the clips in and then I just found myself watching it laughing <laughs> dying because I did not remember that space clip I died too. at all I died the Aladdin died we were Your there pants doing falling it. died like I mean, that was like a classic first date, Aladdin Jasmine. It was fantastic. <laughs> so good. You guys, and Zevi is Aladdin in Aladdin and Friends. He He's in this like Broadway kids thing. Aww. And so when I saw that, I was like, I have to show Zevi. He's going to freak out. Oh, my God. The live was live. There was like over 300, almost 400 people on the live. And I think because it was so long, people got to jump on. So shout out for shut uh, Shout out to everyone who jumped in the premiere. You, the last that's like one, a record. Like a hundred, right? But I think the longer it gets, three hundred of you guys, almost four hundred. Are we back, Mortimer? <laughs> We're back. We're back. <laughs> Shout out to Nala. Thank you. Her phone Holding died. She, her phone died, oh, and she went. Did. She went to Mr. Allen's phone, oh. and then came back to her phone. So shout out to Nala. She's our number one. She's our number VIP one. moderator. And everyone, so everyone was there. I'm so sad I missed it. I'm, I'm usually always there at least to go in and say hello, but I was... Sunny was there. Sammy Sunny was there. Wa Sammy was... I know. The one time. I need to check out Sammy's video because she has like, why I left New York. And I'm like, even though yes. I know why, I want to know By the like way, the deeds. I'm so excited. I don't want to take credit, but I'm taking credit. Did you tell her to do it? I told her that she needs to make a video and videos a whole series right on why she left new york what she loved about new york mm -hmm. 10 things that she hated about new york and oh that's great like, that's a good idea what i love about baltimore how was it to move like i just because you know what's funny like she's great at thrifting and showing you how to resell right but sometimes you're like interested in other things when you watch people like i'll be i love this girl on instagram and like she dresses great and like we have the same style yada yada yeah i want to know other stuff like can you show me how you curl your hair i like, know <laughs> i know because when i see when i hear sammy when i think of sam i think of new york so her leaving New York, I, I yeah, agree with I you. She has to like. So she's like, I don't give know, I've the never been like it. that personal. And it's funny because I, at the I end of the day, her. sometimes you just want to know personal things, like you know, stuff about how how you met your boo, and like I don't know. So I'm just so oh, proud of her. I can't wait because I know it's stepping out of her comfort zone. Oh. And you know what you do? You know what happens when you step out of your comfort zone, folks? That's when all the great things happen. Shana 2012 is very inspiring. You should go back and listen to her. <laughs> I think I'm going to go back and listen to her. She is fantastic. She's oh like going to go after all her goals. Shana, you were ahead of your time with your channel. I know, like you like I so need to go ahead of your back time. I watch my own motivation. You Anyways, need to. You I want to hear. So 300 people? Oh my god. So you guys love the shopping. Everybody's like I thought you guys fell off. You guys are back. I know. 
Sorry, guys. We're juggling life. It's so we're not professional. We don't do YouTube like full time. You guys fell off. Fell off where? Like not showing you. It's almost like we were doing too many twinsy talks, not shopping, and now we're back shopping, not doing twinsy talks. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like anyway, we're people just doing what we want to do. I know, but I feel like you know these last couple episodes have been like ta old school. Remember you? Yeah, I mean, it's, just it's, like it's back to. I felt it was like when I, you guys. I edit our videos, and when I'm sitting there editing, I'll tell, I'll call Amina and be like, "This is trash. We're not posting it." <laughs> and she's like, "But what, what? Don't you think it's worth it?" I'm like, "No." Speaking of that, we're gonna have a trash episode. We're gonna post it on Instagram. Yes, we are. <laughs> We've decided we're gonna um, post it on Reels or something. I should yeah. do that. So anything that we consider trash, we're gonna just put on Instagram, and you'll have a fun, like, interactive, like, it's, story. It's, when I say episode. trash, it's not that we're trash or the the actual thrifting is trash. It's usually the sound or the quality of the video. It's not worthy. Like, it's not worthy. We've been wearing mics. We've been doing really good. Yeah, our sound has been good. I thought you guys, if you guys liked it, but we've, so been, what, what, we've been going on the staying on the focus. So is that what you mean by the comments were? Yeah, a lot of comments were like, "Thank God you're back," and the other comments were. <laughs> First of all, I need to do a, a, a public announcement on me, okay? Oh, no. First of all, because I kept saying surgery, 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 and then people haven't seen me, they think that... You got, like, gastric bypass. Or they... <laughs> right. They think I'm sick. They think I have diabetes. They think I'm a crackhead. Like, oh, all, I've been there. Girl, I welcome know, to I the know, club. I know. I know. You, you haven't made it till you've been told you're a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I, I mean, I know all of you don't watch all the time, but dang, we've been trying to fill you in on all these twinsy talks so you knew what was going on this whole process. I'm not sick. They don't sick. care what's going on. I know. I'm not sick, okay? I just lost 100 pounds in two years because of discipline, okay? Jeez. And I'm sorry if my face is too sunken in for you. Shut up. <laughs> Somebody said you're fit. This Girl, is, so many. Mean. So many. People are just mean. Oh, I'm getting the meanie meanie. Listen. I'm getting a lot of love for the surgery love, so thank you for all the love, November 9th. Yes. But I'm not sick. This is the closest thing I can get to a BBL. I'm getting a hysterectomy because I have... You're not sick for what you've been doing. Right. Like, you, you've you healed yourself naturally. <sighs> Good gosh. Where most people are taking drugs and having surgeries to... You know, to drop weight. Like, that's not, yeah. that's it's not, not how... It's not Ozampic. It's not gastric bypass. None of that. <laughs> so Every, crazy. Everybody's, like, trying to a DM me. You can tell me, what is it? What you do? Um, so I got that, too, but then I was geez. showing my journey. So they're, like, watching me do it. That's probably what saved you. Yeah, I, but, they, but they still told me I liked you better before. Your face looks dead. You look like an old lady. You looked younger. Oh, yeah. Like, I, if you want to feel of that, go read all my comments all on that. my blog channel. All of that. No, I'm not competing. They think I'm also, they think I'm competing. Oh, too. well, that's a good one. I'll take that. But everything you just said and everything you experienced, yeah. I'm experiencing yeah. right now. You're selfish. Um, I notice you don't talk about your husband anymore. <laughs> um, all you care about is fitness. I'm like, because that's all I'm showing you. But then you realize, it's like, we watch television too. Mm -hmm. Shows, Housewives. Mm -hmm. How long is Housewives? It's 45 minutes. That's all we see is 45 minutes. Right. And somehow we think. We know them. And we, we know them. And we ripped them apart. We judged them. <laughs> right. Like, oh my gosh. So it's interesting that, you know, it's how much you let in to I, people's lives. I don't let anything in. I'm dead on, on social media. So I guess this is my punishment for being well, dead. Well, it's the same. It's the same result when you do. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for blast off? Like, I had to say something. I know, but I know. I'm like, act professional, Shada. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the, goes, I, I, know, I know the car does it's too smart it's like you should have been out the car by now then it turned into trade and then went back to me anyway no it's just funny so if you don't always share what, how you're feeling or what's going on then people just assume that you're being a certain way like do you remember during the closet episodes where I was just a hot mess and I could tell I look back at those episodes I was I was literally having a miscarriage on camera that's and people crazy. are like, Shayna's such a B she doesn't want it we need to fit in anything I mean <laughs> and I was reading these comments and oh my god! It, but it just it's goes to show, so, like, so it's, no one knows what you're going through. And even if they know, there's still judgment. We That's can tell. True. We can tell them. That's true. Because you said, "Hey, I'm gonna get back in these blazers. These are I, that, they'll fit fine." Right, and I did. Right, but they're like, "No, you're not, Shayna. You're wasting your time. You're right. You're not gonna do it. Well, Why are they you didn't know I was pregnant at the time when I, so the blazer episode i was pregnant yes and then in your closet i had a miscarriage within that time frame i know from like one episode to another and i had gained like 20 pounds from that pregnancy mm -hmm. anyways mm -hmm. it's just long story short you guys 
if you truly are concerned about someone, that's different. I know. Like Edwina, oh my God, you look great. I hope everything's okay. We're always cheering for you, blah, blah, blah. That's a different comment than you look sick. What's wrong with your face? You on the crack, you on the bop, you on the Zimpic, you got diabetes, yeah. You what, yeah. what's going on? But anyway, now you're caught up. Now, like I said, it, it's the and closest thing. if you go thing. back, go back, you guys, you will see. It's hard because you're watching video, but, and Edwina doesn't really post pictures. Mm -mm. So, um, but you'll see, like, the tr we see it. When we, when our memories pop up, I, I laugh every time because I'm always like, oh, wow, didn't, I didn't even notice it. Like, oh it's a God. slow transition, but. You just sent me that video from Storage Wars. Oh, that and I, was crazy. And I feel like both of you and I yeah. look so different oh, yeah. than that. I think I feel like we were just like on plump because we were drinking tons of beer, well, eating we fries. We had, we had lots of traveling. Yes, and like going, eating out, and then there was like no healthy places really. No. You know? And we wanted beer and fries. <laughs> True. And those that la those last episodes, I was pregnant. Remember when I got I got home we, right after the last episode wrapped? I found out I was pregnant. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. But, but yeah, it was a fun. God, when I look at those videos, I'm just like, we were on television, and it was so much fun. Oh my god, we did so much. I mean, I don't wish to be back at that point, but I do laugh at all the things that we've done because the memories that pop up are crazy. And you guys look at the transition. I mean, we've been on here since 2011. That's right. a long time. So at some point, I hope we change and grow. We don't, you know, we're going to yes. gain weight, lose weight, right. stay the same. Sometimes right. I feel like I stay the same, though. It's kind of boring. I ran into somebody, and they're like, wow. Uh, they were talking to some girl, and they're like, oh, my God, I haven't seen you in, like, 20 years. You look amazing. And then she saw me. I knew her from, like, uh, high school and she's or college. What'd and she, she goes, she goes, oh, my God, you look exactly the same. No, take that as a compliment because... I... But I, I because so many people go a different direction and never come back. I know, but part of me was like, I wanted to like, I don't know. It kind of makes me wonder like, hmm, I'm getting kind of boring. When I had my red hair, I felt like I had, you know, shifted. Oh, when you had the Evas? Because yes. it made me feel like I was um, edgy. That was, was super edgy. edgy. <laughs> it was almost too edgy for corporate America, though. It, well... You know what I'm saying? Like, it was great for life, but I feel like... It was a little edgy for corporate America. I, I feel like for corporate America, you probably were being judged. I wasn't judged. getting the big deals. No, they're gonna, they were looking at you and be like, Are, did you, does your crotch now match your hair? Did you... Shut up. <laughs> you gotta have the fire Anyways, crotch to match. I do think there is something to be said about growth and like, you know, you want to look better and feel better, right? So you feel yes. better, more, more importantly. And you guys, I'm the age I'm at, I'm 44, and I'm like, a couple years too old for social media so when all this social media came out I was almost too old for it <laughs> so I suck at giving updates I suck at documenting and plus I don't want everybody knowing my business well, just because you, you follow suck. me you just didn't want to well what I mean by suck at is like people constantly stay in it and I just don't yeah you know yeah. like all the things we do I should be posting more I and, know, me and too. I don't I think about it too you know even but just for our business forget for ex personal exactly reasons. speaking We're of that <laughs> Oh, we got I, restock. Restock ooh. on the two zip thrift your heart out fannies. Yep. They're available on throw it in the cart lv.com. And someone just made an order of a fanny. I think you got the large and it went out today. So keep them coming. It's exciting. You guys, we have another exciting partnership with Whatnot. And you guys aren't even ready for this. I started doing some of the inventory. Well, I took pictures. We should tell them. It's time to start hyping it up, what it is. You guys, we are finally. <sighs> The next live, it's gonna be on Black Saturday, right? Black Saturday, I thought it was Friday. Remember, because we were doing it on Saturday morning, not Friday night? No, I can't do it Saturday Oh, morning. shoot, okay, it's gonna be on Black Friday, oh, we're off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I messed up, I wrote an email to them, I messed up, so it's oh, Black okay, Friday. okay, okay. So, Black Friday. We do our Thanksgiving dinner on Saturday. So that's we'll right. So, actually, on Black Friday, on trend, yes. with all the shopping at 9 a.m. PST. You guys. I mean, we've been waiting, we've been hoarding. If all this guys, time for this moment if you want to get your hand on some of the most amazing <sighs> coats, coats. <laughs> all of our coats leather 
fur. Vintage. Faux fur. Over trenches. Oh my god. All of the amazing Everything. pieces. Everything. You guys. All sizes. We've been like hesitant to get rid of it because we secretly just want to hoard it because we can't, we can't find coats anywhere anymore. And we just want to look at it. And the last time we were here, we grabbed all the coats and we came back the next week. We're going to check again. There was nothing. You guys. We're going to check again, but. They're beautiful. You're in for a treat. It's not all of them, but there's going to be at least a hundred items and we're excited about it oh we're gonna gosh. do They're our amazing. best we're gonna get on so that we don't have any like malfunctions with the camera again. yeah we're gonna get on early so 15 i'll say 10 yeah 15 20 minutes yeah so maybe we'll do like a chit chat before the hype up and then actually start yeah right and on chris time albums out uh, chris uh, brown's album will be out by then so i'll just we'll just be listening to that i'm so excited i know everybody has their feeling about chris brown but you guys november 11th i've been stalking him oh my god first gosh. of all his outfits He's wearing this leather green coat. It is like a leather pop of green zipped up bomber. It is stunning. I just, I'm obsessed with him. I'm oh my obsessed. gosh. But his fashion right now is killing it. And he's got all these crazy coats. I got to show you all his coats. So. Okay. But anyway. Black Friday, you guys. Coats epic. galore. Epic sale. And um, we're excited. We thank everybody for the last sale. We really uh, did our best to get all these packages out. Gina, I got you, girl. Um, I had some problems with the uh, the, the international, shipping, and I got in a fight with the lady at the UPS store. I was like, I don't understand. And then finally, I'm like, I have to go to the post office. So, but you should be forgive your forgive us, Gina. There was some um, problems, but we threw in some special pieces for people. Some um, we gave a free gift, and oh we're going to be doing that again, you guys. We have beautiful bags that we've designed. Typically, they run thirty to eighty dollars, depending on what you guys order. And we're going to be giving them away for free. Ooh, is it one of these? No, no, but this oh, for Maydos on Me if they order. Oh, thumbs up if you have a Maydos on Me bag. So if you guys don't know, Whatnot has international shipping. Yep. So you guys want to get your hands on some Maydos on Me. Um, our sweatpants, we just we, we uh, stocked up on more of the oh. joggers. Oh my God, right now. This is why and people, the hoodies. This is why people can't find us. I figured it out. Oh. They're typing in, throwing in the cart with spaces. It's throwing in the cart with no spaces. Oh. That's how you can find this. So if you're international right now, go to Whatnot app, download it, type in, no, throw we'll it in use the our cart. Link in the description. Right, the link if you if you're not already you already you don't already have it. But we have an active product line that has everything yes. Shayna just says right now. You can get your hands on it now. So you guys can get our anonymous hoodies. We're running out. Just FYI, we have not reordered those hoodies. So nope, and then not yet. also, you guys, we're gonna be styling them more. I just rocked mine the other day and I got so many compliments when I went out. Our oh, the stray jacket uh, sweatshirt. Oh, yeah, I did see you wear it. I wore the hoodie the other day. Somebody was like, what is that sweatshirt? They asked me if it was Moogler. Or Moogle. Be because Moogler. our stuff is so high I end. was like, oh, my God. Um, no, it's <laughs> made to me. Although that does also sound like kind of hoity-toity. Was, so, was it this bag, Shaney? Yes. Yes. Thumbs up if you got the thrown in the cart recyclable must-have, like, we use this for like all our food and mm -hmm. snackies. Oh, and Wiener has some watermelon, mm -hmm. an apple. Mm -hmm. I can't do fruit. Um, I just took out my big water jug, jug out of it, glass jug. I, I use know, it every no day. Water. We need a water system at this this house we're living in. It's really bad. Oh yeah, the pipes. Mm -hmm. But this is like two of our bags, and then today I'll bring the Oski bag in there for shopping. I have no bags. I don't know where they are. No. And, and then the TA Mega Tote. Oh my God. You guys. So if you haven't gotten your hands on the TA Mega Tote, Shh. wait for what not sale because. If you guys order over $200 worth of items, and that's not going to be hard this time because it's coats. Oh, yeah. We will send Easy. you a um, throw it in the cart, or I'm sorry, a Thrifters Anonymous mega tote. It will be your favorite. So. It is so huge, but perfect. Here's a whatnot. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll put it on in the video. Let me okay. just remind myself. Maybe I'll do a screen record um, right here so they can see the yeah, active. Yeah, so you guys can see all the active items. And again, you can get your hands on our t-shirt, which we, which is so beautiful. It's such good quality yep. with the 3D rays. Yeah, we have the t-shirt, the hoodie, the sweats, the And if you're looking fannies, for so the way it's set up on the whatnot, I know it can be kind of confusing. I'm going to go in and actually update the pictures, I think, because I think the pictures is kind of what's throwing it off. I'm gonna put the same picture for all the items. They're just different sizes. So if you're looking for small, medium, or large joggers, it's gonna be the same picture. It's just the sizing is different. So if you're looking for a small, medium, large on the hoodies, same thing. Um, the t-shirts run 
oversized, so they're going to be small, medium, and large, extra large. Yes. That's how the t-shirts um, work. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that if you guys would like to see, would you guys like to see, like, maybe maybe we add it into a, a um, Twinsy Talk like where we style episode. our, like, how we style our pieces, how we rock oh. them. Or maybe we'll just throw it in. Like, if you wear it, like you know, take some pictures. We'll show you guys how we rock it. Like on the weekends, I just throw on, I like just yesterday I went to the movies. We uh, went to see Paw Patrol with Zevi. Oh my God. Was it good? It was actually good, but okay. it's just not a movie that my dad and all of us would go see. Oh, they all, the whole family yeah, my went? dad went. My oh, Zevi wanted him to go so they bad. They took one for the team. Anyways, um, I wore my joggers and I just threw on like a really cute little um, tank. And then I wore like a, a bomber a jacket. I didn't wear my TA jacket. I just wore like a different jacket. But the joggers, it's funny. My sister now likes aloe. Of course she does. We're obsessed so with have aloe. Have you been to aloe before? Oh, a oh we have stock in aloe. A-L-O is aloe. Anyways. We're obsessed. I, since like 2011. Okay. But um, she thought my joggers were aloe. And they are not. You guys, because... <laughs> And we, I, I hate to say merch. Our merchandise. Our merchandise is, is very high end. Exquisite. Top quality. We did not get no jank. It's because they look thick. Like, you know how Hanes they are is like thick. really thin? Now, sometimes you want to thin. The band is quality. Thick. The Thicky seams thick. are quality. Yes, yeah, thick how you want. Sometimes things are too thick. And I and it remember hurt. initially, I was like, wow, they're a little short. And what's funny is, is what it's done, it's actually changed my vibe. Like, I kind of love the shortness of it because I add our socks. Yes. Which, by the way, you can also get on whatnot. Oh, my god! And I'm having my little smiley face socks on. I just I love our TA socks. TA cool, you know? But anyway, we got great stuff. It's on there now. So if you're international, get your hands on it. That's where we're so happy with partnering with whatnot. And we're just happy to do live sales, doing the things that we love to do. It's pushing us to um, get our groove back. I was just telling Edwina, mm -hmm. like... I, we went. Oh, I went to Doja Cat. Thank you so much, by the way, Edwina. Oh, I couldn't make was it. Was supposed to go because she was the one who invited <laughs> us. Um, I couldn't but make it to she's Doja getting Cat. Ready for her surgery. They did some. They had to, someone dropped a ball, and they're like, "You didn't do your biopsy." I'm like, "No one told me to do a biopsy." And so it, it took me a long time to recover, and I just couldn't make it out. My she body, make it. my body was like lay down. So anyway, I'm glad Shane got to have a good I time. I took so, my sister. So tell me about it. What did your sister think? Like, okay, first of the all, seats and all that. She the like traffic, it? girl. It took us an hour to get there. They closed off what? Frank Sinatra. We had to go all the way to Tropicana. They closed Frank Sinatra for Doja Cat. Closed. What the crap? Had to go to Tropicana, all the way up Tropicana, then make a left. Oh, no, go to Excalibur. Go all the way around the back oh, way. Anyways, that it was, was trash. It was trash. But when we got to the garage, it was like, oh, bloop, because it's the VIP garage. Mm -hmm. And I was watching everybody else struggle. It was bad. I know those, I know those um, tickets are bomb. But she was an hour late because of traffic. She was stuck. <laughs> she couldn't even get to her own concert. because No, I think she was there. The place was empty. I'm sure the ticket holders are like, okay, you're at 60% capacity. Like, oh, she ain't going to start a concert if it's 50% full. Who the crap opened for her, though? Did you make the opener? Do you know who opened for her? Who? Okay, I didn't know who it was until the song played, and I was like, is this the girl from TikTok? Don't tell me another TikTok star. Girl, it's all TikTok stars. Oh my god! Um, I forget. I forget the song. No though. one has to earn and work ten years oh, in order to get on. Okay, so you said Doja was late, which kind of helped you guys. So you guys probably thought you were missing stuff, and you didn't, which is good. So yes, yeah, SZA... we missed half of the first opening, and SZA I think it was, was Ice trash. Spice. Oh, <gasps> it was Ice Spice. No, it was Dochi. Do Doechi. Doechi. I know who. I know the name. I think I know no, one we song know the by girl, her because it, it's all over TikTok. It's like uh, Doechi. Yeah, I never knew how to pronounce the name, but I like seen like the names. I never knew how to pronounce it. But yeah, we felt SZA was not an opener, but we knew Doja Cat was going to be ready, and I couldn't make it. Shana sent me all these oh, clips. Oh, what it is, yo? What's up? Every good guy needs a little love. Oh, that. Okay, that's the only song I know about her then. Yeah, anyways, that's who it was because I had no idea. And then all of a sudden she sang that song. I was like, oh. oh. Anyways, so her, I, I must say, her set was so much fun. It spoke to who she is. It okay. made sense. We were making fun of SZA because she had like basically bubblegum shrimp boat. 
with like a life raft and yeah, was, they called it the SOS tour and then none of her songs had any, it was like the marketing team dropped the ball they didn't have the set ready her and outfits were trash they didn't make any sense didn't make any sense but then Doja Cat's outfit she so seemed Doja, very I needed casual. to look I think she was sponsored by like whoever she was wearing like on a, her shirt it was like a New York t-shirt she looked punk rock she did and I must say her crowd Shayna, I felt the energy in the video. Every, like, the I had crowd goosebumps was every time. so in it. random. Oh, really? It was like people who love Marilyn Manson. Right. The Diablos were there. Us. The Diablos were there, too. Uh, older crowd? Oh, my gosh. She cleaned up on all the shoes. A little bit older crowd. A really, really young crowd. Um, hmm. It was so random. People who love hip-hop. People who love house music people who love like she kind of has a a vibe and as much as like you know some people criticize maybe what she does or what she says her music and her vibe were on point and she her had, voice she has hits was amazing she now was i want to she had a she had killer set though she was wearing the nipple bra okay i'm pretty sure it was the kim kardashian new nipple have you seen it she came out with the nipple bra oh my not God. that the nipple is new because if you watch sex in the city and you remember samantha remember she put the nipples in the bra has nipples the in bra it? has nipples in it so it comes with the pepperonis built Girl, in? Doja Cat's nipples were on the whole what time. What the hell is that about? Oh, shout out to Echo, because apparently she was there. Up and oh, high. Oh, what's up, Echo? I wish I would have seen she her. She was? Yes, I didn't oh see her. Oh, my God. Oh, um, chocolate queen. I, there was a few songs I didn't know, but do you know what? I you know why it was good? In the five concerts we've seen, okay, up yes. there, that have mostly been trash. Post Malone was good. but uh, he was, Barely. He, you had to be like... To like enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I know. We weren't crunk enough we for Post. We weren't crunk enough for Post. Post mm -hmm. was like really like, but his voice was beautiful. Right. But like Kendrick Lamar and Drake and SZA and they're just, they just all bad concerts. Just lazy. What I liked about Doja Cat's concert, and I'll give it to her, her energy was on fire. Shana, I felt it She's in the video. She's singing a song. I had no idea what she was talking about. Was Never heard it. It made me want to get in my car and, we'll get and find the song. <gasps> now, when was That's the last That's a good time? artist. Right. So her dancers, phenomenal. That pyro, crazy. The pyro. Oh my God. So I will give it to her. Hats off to Doja for her first tour. That was an an incredible oh, tour. I so as it. as much as you don't like it, like her, maybe her her newest, you know, her demons. You guys, she sang a song about wet vagine. It's called wet vagina, but Ussie. It's called wet vagina. It's actually called Vagine. Vagina. She said Vagine or she said Ussi. No, she. it's called, it, without the B, it's called Wet Vagina. Oh. Summer Nama, Summer Nama, Wet Vagina. Okay, I think I know that song. Anyways, I was dying because the, the only reason why we knew it is on the way to the concert, me and Michelle had an hour to listen to her whole album mm -hmm. and we heard the song. So we thought we were like singing the song <laughs> like, like we knew. We had no <laughs> idea what it was. But again, great concert. I'm sad you missed it because mm, it, it was, was probably good. The, it was the best we had one of the, the year. We had the girl who doesn't like to look at me. She had to look at you this time. She looked at my sister, <laughs> and I paid the bill. Girl, I think maybe she knows me or something. Something's not right. Did you like Michelle, take her boyfriend from her? Michelle even goes, "Yeah, that is weird because you gave her your card, but she looked at me for the order." That's so she weird. Will, this girl will not look at me in my eyeballs. That's so and weird. So all I keep thinking was, it's like. Did she used to bully me in like junior high? I'm not even joking. We need to find out her name. Like, did you go to college with her? You took her. Do you make out with her boyfriend? Because if that's the case, then <laughs> she's gonna be pissed at you forever, girl. No, that's you're probably the not queen. the case. You were the makeout queen. No, but anyways, so this it was just was great. Mom. They were very nice. The guy who helped us last time helped us this time, and he was so complimentary of me. It was hilarious. You look beautiful tonight. I'm loving your outfit. Digging, digging the vibes, girls. And me and Michelle were making a joke. We're like, we want to get dinner out of the way because we're old ladies and we came here for dinner and drinks. <laughs> and he, he goes, that's not a problem. I think that's actually a great reason uh, to come up here. It's our favorite thing And I go, do. well, last week we did the same thing. He goes, I was like, you waited on us last week. Remember with my friend? She's like the, the dreads. I forgot what I called it. She's like, he's like, yeah, I remember her. That was you? I'm like, do what? I look significantly different than last week. Oh my God, are you like invisible? Are you like Casper? Are you walking around invisible? It was so, because I go, I you literally remember I was sitting up there and it was just Friday, like five days ago. It's so weird. We're always up there in that VIP section. He literally looked at me like it was the first time he had ever seen me. It's fine. We got lots of compliments. Everybody's complimenting our outfits. 
it was just interesting. It was a very different crowd. It was the crowd. Did you go with the orange or the black blazer? I went with my black tuxedo blazer. That was a really chic look. I got so many compliments. It was my Ole Cassini thrifted blazer. I'm repeating with, with that your, outfit. With your camel pants? Yes. Oh, it was gorgeous. Which I just found. I love it. You guys, moving does do wonders for your uh, wardrobe. I was going to wear uh, <laughs> that outfit from Sammy. You know the one that looks like a doll? Like it had those big buttons. I was going to wear mm, something ridiculous, mm -hmm. very quirky. But, of course, I could make it. But anyway... So anyway, so the, the concert was great. And um, I look forward to the next one. Yes, yeah, so what not sale. Um, yeah, we gotta stay go tuned in. for that. I know we got to go in and shop. Um, this is another lunchtime special, but we wanted to give you a twinsy talk. And I wanted to let you know I wasn't sick. And Shannon wants yeah, to you let guys. you know. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to find out if I have endometriosis. Yes. <laughs> so I'll, I also had a biopsy and they saw some inflammation. So I'm going to go and get an MRI, which I've never done. I'm kind of scared. Ooh, the MRI. Is it scary? You have to go in the, the tube, the I full body. Is that what, no, just my pelvis. But do you, do you have to go in anyway? I yeah. don't know. Yeah, you, you go in the machine. Oh, God. It's a little claustrophobic. I have a little claustrophobic. It's a little claustrophobic, I but I think you'll be okay. Maybe for a second, but then you'll be okay. It's, it's fast. So I need to do that. Um, did and you then drink something? Did they, are they giving you something to drink? I haven't even talked to I haven't even made the appointment. I need to do that. I need to do it before the end of the year. So I need to do it like stat. But, but anyways, the, the journey is still ongoing, but I'm really just, I've been cleared to go back to the gym. And now that the bronchitis has subsided, um, I finally went yesterday, but I just don't feel myself yet. Oh. I, I keep coughing, but it's fine. Now, now you can go back to the gym <laughs> and now I can't go back to the gym. The and irony's not lost on us, folks. First of all, we're, we're living twinsy, uh, twinsy life. I mean, completely. It's so weird. It's all about our uterus right now. Shaney is the best uterus. It's all about that uterus. I mean, finally, I'm not going to be lo uh, uh, known as big uterus in the streets. Finally. You were known as big uterus in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt. I felt like everyone could see my well, big I uterus. I'm not in the streets. So, you, you know, you got to tell me what's going oh, on. Oh, this in is the what street. the girls say. We be outside. Girl, you Wait, out. What? You. Uh, it's not being the streets no more. It's like, oh, oh she be outside. Oh, so, yeah. So not, my uterus has been outside, so now I'm going to be inside. Well, I know now they say, like, she ate, you know. <laughs> she, really, she ate. Like, if you did really good at something, like, you ate. I know. Not, every time someone says, I'm like, who? Who'd she eat? <laughs> who? Again? Anyway, Shana and I are on our uter uter uterus. Our uterus, our our uterus, uterus journey? Yes. And so now I can't work out or take a bath for like almost two months. I'm going to lose my mind. We're like trading places. What is it called? Oh my God. We are trading places. <laughs> we are. We're, we're Eddie Murphy and Dan That's Aykroyd. So weird. I Literally. Like, she left. Now you back. Right. What is going on? Oh my God. You know what's funny? I said that to my doctor and my doctor's like, you're known as big uterus in these streets. I'm like. Mm -hmm. You are not known as big uterus. <laughs> internally, internally. No, what you're known as, because you've been saying it for the last decade, is, a gut. is gut. Gut. Yeah, so I'm gut my, ready. Yeah, so now this gut's going to be gone. I mean, you still will be gut ready, but it's a different gut. <laughs> I know. Unfortunately, they can't take out these fibroids and put it in my booty like a BBL or, or put no. them in my chest. They got to actually take them and throw them in the trash. And on that note, folks, let's go thrifting. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. for yep. another 90 mi minute shenanigan video, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm going to have to try to plug in this other battery and then we can do a really long one. Cause I feel How like many we batteries do you have? Two? This is the second one. I got one more. Oh, okay. So okay. I'm, I'm going to see if I can plug one in and then we'll be good. All right. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Love Check you guys. out last week's episode. You guys, we have playlists for the Halloween episode. Give Shayna love for giving that you that extra long edit and putting those Halloween oh. videos. Oh, this is what someone said. Oh. They said, I've been watching you guys for a long time. And this is the first time you guys actually inserted something when you said you're going to insert it. Well, because I remembered. Well, you got love for it. So give Shayna some love I'm for giving you that anymore. extra. I'm going to remember things now. <laughs> <laughs> for giving you that bomb episode. And check out our playlist for Storage Wars. Check out our playlist for Halloween. We got so many goody videos in case we don't ever post. <laughs> I might be out of commission for a while, so hopefully this is an extended episode to take us through the month. If not, y'all know why. There's no video. Well, you know what I'm saying? we might have to stretch this one out. Might have to do a, um, I'll, I'll go and do like a, a memory. Oh, ASMR? <laughs> oh, you might have to do an ASMR one and give it to them. Like go a, shopping. or like a, a, a look back. Oh. You know, like oh. a, something. I don't know. We'll figure out something. All right, guys. But, see you tomorrow. Right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.